Hey everybody, welcome. I know it's been a minute, but here I am using the two-part epoxy sculpt to create the different face shapes for the Sanderson sisters. I am so excited. I cannot wait till the end of the video already. Don't fast forward though, because it hurts my channel. So the sculpting took a little while, but the worst part was, was sanding and drilling each individual doll part and doing three of them at the same time. It kind of made me a little bit crazy. <laughs> It was mentally exhausting, <laughs> very redundant, but it's so worth it. You know, the end result is what always keeps me going. And of course, the fact that I have the most awesome followers and subscribers ever. I um, have reached 100 subscribers and just want to thank you guys so much. Um, any pointers that you ever want to give me to, to be better at this, let me know. This time I did try to get better camera angles. You know, because uh, the other thing is, is my I use my phone for recording. I can't zoom in when I have it on video. So I wish I could zoom in more so you could see a little bit. I did do like an angle more behind me when doing the uh, face paint on the dolls. And you can see Yami hanging out while I'm working. If you hear any background noise, it's squeaky chairs and squeaky floors. It's not what you think. <laughs> Come here, princess. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good kitty. I now have a cat in my lap while I'm recording. It's kind of difficult, but it's worth it, just like the dolls. It's so tacky. So tacky. Cringe. And here I am using the, um, <clears throat> it is the matte spray paint by Army Painters, and then applying the Pan Pastel skin tone over top. And I'm doing a few layers, especially on, oh my gosh, I forget the Sanderson sister's name, the one that has a lot of gray two-part epoxy on her. I think I did about seven layers of the Pan Pastel pigment, <clears throat> just so it would even it as much as possible. And in between 
each powder ring, I do a layer of spray. And you just do it until you're liking. It's just a, a cleaner way of painting. It's very light. Here I'm doing a little bit of contouring. Trying to... It's basically like... When I was in makeup school, we would do celebrity makeups on each other, but... You know, we would try and pick a, a, a specific actress or singer that would closely resemble the person and try and contour and highlight what their prominent features are. That's what I'm doing here. And you will see that eventually I'm going to pull out makeup. I'm going to use like eyeshadows and nail polish watercolor pencils. I almost forgot what they were called. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now I'm just contouring. I did the teeth with nail polish and the lips with nail polish. The eyebrows, the eyeliner I did with a watercolor pencil. And then everything else was like eyeshadow for the eyes. And this for the contouring. This nice brown tone. And then when I am finished with doing the face paint, I will spray a good layer of the matte army painter spray paint. Just the same as in Mr. Super Clear. And here I'm using the red nail polish. It's just regular nail polish. This time around I didn't do UV resin just because it can take... It can. It just adds more time and I'm going to seal it anyway with the matte army paint. Yeah, this angle didn't really help too much as, you know, can't zoom in. Hopefully, I'll get a, um, a new phone, an upgrade to having a really good camera so I can zoom in so you can see the details. Um, yeah, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> But it does help you get the gist of, you know, you're, you're able to somewhat see me. Maybe because it's on my phone it looks so small, and maybe on the TV it'll look great. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> And just so you know, like, if I do make a mistake with the watercolor pencils, I just get a little bit of water on a brush, dry it a little, and then wipe away any mistakes. If I do it with nail polish, I, I do the same thing with nail polish remover, but I try to just not scrub it too hard because it will take all the layers of... Um, the skin pigment that I applied. And here they were before doing the face up. Next, I will be doing the eyeballs and the hair. We're going to get the messy stuff over with first, and then we can move into the costume making. Again, thank you everybody for being here. I'm so glad that you're here supporting me. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful week.